इंद्रियानम मानो नाता मानो ना तोष्टु मरेता कंट्रोलर ऑफ इंद्रियस इस द माइंड एंड द कंट्रोलर ऑफ द माइंड आर द वाजिस इन स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस इंद्रियस द माइंड एंड द वाजिस कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड दे मस्ट बी कंसोलिडेटेड एंड डायरेक्टेड टुवर्ड्स परमापुरुषा in tantric system of diksha initiation is highly scientific initiation has two important aspect dipani and mantra shaitanya dipani in anamaya meditation there is a process for dip- performing dipani dipani means torch light mantra shaitanya means conceptual understanding of and psychic association with a mantra regarding the interpretation of diksha the vishvashara tantra says dipa gyanam yato dadyat kuriyat papakshayam tata tasmat dikshiti sa prukta sarva tantrasya sanmata the process which produces the capacity to realize the inner import of mantra and which expedits the requital of the samskaras or reactive momenta is called diksha. You may have noticed that some people become extremely sad or extremely unhappy after being initiated. This is a good sign because it shows that the samskaras are being exhausted very quickly. But this sort of reaction does not occur merely by hearing the mantra or repeating it parrot-like. One must be initiated according to the prescribed system. Only then will the mantra be effective. This will be clear to those practicing an Anamarga meditation. Andhakara griye yadvana shinchat prati bashate dipa nira hito mantra stakeva parikitita sarvasta tantra. You must know that both dipani and mantra shaitanya must precede the repetition of a mantra. One cannot see even the most valuable objects in a dark room. Similarly, a valuable mantra cannot be used properly without the help of Dipani. Mantra Shaitanya, unless the Kula Kundalini is raised upward in the process of spiritual practice, repetition of mantra becomes meaningless. The system of raising the Kula Kundalini upwards is called Purusha Sharana Kriya. Mantra Shaitanya literally means to imbibe the proper spirit of a mantra. If a mantra is repeated with the understanding of inner spirit, mantra shaitanya will be an easier task. To repeat the mantra without understanding its spirit is a waste of time. In this connection, Sada Shiva said in the Rudraya Mala Tantra, Shaitanya Rahita Mantraha Prakrata Vainastu Kivala Palam Naivi Praya Shanti Laksha Koti Paya Pati Mantras without the corresponding addition are merely a couple of letters mechanically uttered. They will not bear any fruit, even if repeated a billion times. Dhyana Dipani and Mantra Shaitanya are not necessary in the process of Dhyana. They are not necessary as auxiliary practices because, as will be explained, they are included within Dhyana. But they are necessary in Japa Kriya. Auto or auto suggestion through repetition of mantra. Those who are unsuccessful in Japa Kriya find it very difficult to master the practice of dhyana. Japa Kriya is a composite of processes, and those processes can be carried out one by one. Therefore, it is not so difficult as dhyana. In the process of dhyana, mantra, dipani, and mantra shaitanya, all three are associated with the Jaya Purusha. Purusha is the object of variation. So from a subtle perspective, Japa is a composite of a number of processes, but Dhyana Kriya is complete in itself. This is the reason that beginners find it difficult to become established in Dhyana. Japa Kriya. For those who can establish themselves in Dhyana, however, Samadhi is a certainty. Vinanya sahe vina pujam vina japae purusha kriyam dhyana yogat bhaveti siddhir nanyata kalu parvati shri krama tantra.